warm spring evening at Roanoke Soaring Ridge Brewery. A great night for a cold one. Three, two, and one. And a bike race. It's a first of its kind. Two races, one for women, another for men. It is a 12 mile race. An amazing blend of technology, algorithms, and training that allows the regions and in some cases the world's best cyclists to ride side by side as a computer reveals their actual effort and tactics. It's through a program called Zwift. This is a full on virtual racing experience like you would with any other kind of a bike race except we can do it in an arena with a real life effort right here into the game. It's measured in this device and goes out with a signal to the game which then communicates that power that's going out of their legs into the game. The race is so real, the riders not only feel the uphills and down, but the advantages of the draft, riding behind another rider, or bumps in the road. It even accounts for the wind resistance for taller riders, one of the reasons riders weight and height are all plugged into the computer just before the race. Looks like it's all over for Wadsworth. Once the racing begins, the rider's effort is just as real as if they were on the road. Sweat pours off of them and heart rates soar over 30 to 40 miles. It's also real for the spectators. One of the interesting things about this concept is that it's actually a spectator sport. All these people gathered here at the brew pub drinking their beer and watching their favorite riders, eventually they'll actually put it up on a big screen, but it doesn't really matter because any place in the world, you can watch it on your phone. I guess it's a competition more than anything, just watching them. You can see them looking across, seeing how much work they're doing, and so it makes it more exciting to watch that. You have like pro racers that are here from all over the country. Uh, it's really cool to see them. While dozens cheered there in the brewery, organizers say thousands around the world were watching online. And the next time, these riders may also be racing cyclists in Europe. And we can do it across the world. So we, we plan on doing events, uh, linking up London and uh, Amsterdam. Worldwide, indoors, and real. It was fun. It was, like, it was very realistic. It, it was a lot more realistic because I've never done Swift before. So it was a lot more realistic than I would have expected. Were you more motivated to have guys right next to you riding yeah, like when yeah. you're out there really racing? Very much more motivated to have the racers beside me and also all the uh, fans and people watching. Virtual reality on a warm night in Roanoke with real sweat and cold beer.